roll and you're watching rock and roll all night. Hi, this is John Regan from Fraley's Comet, and you're watching rock and roll all night. Don't tune out. Garrett, and you're watching rock and roll all night. The next uh, clip, if we could, of Gordon Gerber. He wrote Kiss and sure. Tell, excuse me, <laughs> Kiss and Tell, which is about Ace Frehley. It's, oh. a, it's a behind the scenes tell all book. All right. If you can run that real quick, it'd be good. Eliminate yourself. Yeah, I, I uh, read the book, and uh, I was intrigued at the end. It says how uh, all these people went bankrupt, and the old Ace went bankrupt, and he owed a lot of people money. What's the deal with that? Is he like, is he. Was he known for giving people a shaft, or that was because he went bankrupt, or did he not actually go bankrupt? Or? He went bankrupt, but uh, Ace was not uh, the most uh, intelligent businessman. Right. You know, that, that's, that's what it came to. He, he, he handled money very poorly. I, I don't think he meant to screw people. You know, people. I don't think he maliciously went out to screw people, but he never took the responsibility. When he could have, too. I mean, when, when the Kiss reunion came up, he claimed bankruptcy. And, you know, guys like John Regan and uh, Dean and uh, a whole list of other people got screwed, you know, out of money. It's too bad. It's too bad. I mean, Ace didn't do the right thing, in other words. So, but I don't totally blame him. He's just irresponsible. Right. Do a, I don't think he did it. wasn't malicious. It right. wasn't a malicious thing. I'm going to screw everybody out of money. Right, right. It? Substantial? It's just haphazard, and, and uh, he just don't realize what he did to other people. He just doesn't take the responsibility, and he hurt other people. You know, himself. You know, look into himself. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, what else? Was, I can't remember who it was. I think they said that he would uh, just like throw away all his. Uh, it was either you or Bob. Said he would just throw away all his old stuff, like gold, uh, gold album. Yeah, yeah. when I, I uh, in fact, when the light went over there, he would just clean out his garage and stuff like that. And he would throw out old kiss stuff. And I'm not even a kiss fan. Right. And uh, I said, what are you doing? You know, you those uh, kiss uniforms, kiss boots. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Uh, I was like, oh, oh man. Yeah, man, and I told, man. I, I pack, I made him pack that stuff with and give it to the Hard Rock Cafe or something like that. You know? Yeah, that way. If you don't I, want knew, I knew the value of it. Not even to be a KISS fan, I'm sure there was some kind of history, some kind of KISS fan would love it. He gave me some stuff that meant nothing, nothing to him anymore. Right, away. that's insane. Uh, there was one other thing. Like, again, I can't remember who it was, probably Bob, but he said they went to a, uh, a club and they saw uh, Keith Richards. And Keith uh, that Richards, was with Bob, yeah. And Gebert, he, was, he wrote that book, uh, the Tell All book, Kiss and Tell. Yeah. I totally like read this book called Kiss and Tell. It's all the bad stuff about him, like all his cocaine addictions and pranks he plays, and it's really good. It makes him sound cooler, I think. <laughs>